everyone welcome back to my channel i know the makeup content has been lacking so here is my favorite makeup look at the minute i feel like for anything really i wore this to my graduation last week and i didn't have time to film it in the morning because my graduation was early and i was literally like getting ready so fast so yeah this is was my makeup for graduation and my current favorite look at the minute so if you want to see it then carry on watching please subscribe to my channel down below i've been on youtube for a whole year now which is crazy and i nearly have like 750 subscribers so and also do you all like my shirt i feel like it screams autumn right but yeah carry on watching so guys i've primed my eyes and i'm ready to get into it it's making me quite sad that i haven't faked tanned in a while so i feel like i would rather be tanned but we're here now anyway so ever since watching flossie's recent videos i've been using these sprays right before my makeup as sort of a spr primer <laughs> primer did i just create something then copyright that i'm gonna prep the skin now just so while i do the eyes it can you know sort itself out so current favorite makeup i always start with my eyes um because I feel like it's quite smoky um, and it's like a half cut crease. So I'm gonna do that. I'm using the Sample Beauty, the Equalizer Palette Volume 2. I think I got this for Christmas on my birthday, one of them. But here's what it looks like. I think I have a video where I've done like a look with two eyes using like purples and oranges and stuff like that but i'm literally just using the really simple colors today so i'm sorry if that's not your vibe but this is more like everyday makeup and i wore this to my graduation last week um so i wanted to recreate it because i really wanted to film like a get ready for my graduation with me but it was so early and i prioritized sleep and getting ready really fast so sorry about that but I brought a card to do my makeup with. <laughs> I don't know why I keep stealing hotel cards. Like me and Owen will get two and we'll just give one in. I keep forgetting about the other and I just keep finding them. So don't, right, don't, don't judge. So all my brushes are so dirty as well. I feel a bit sad, but I'm basically, I don't even know if I used this. I'm basically gonna take these three colours and sort of blend it up and use the card so it creates like a line. Then I might use a bit of the black just on the outer corner to smoke it out a bit and that is literally it. I'm telling you that because I'm using it as a mirror to the side. I don't have to keep picking it up. But that is what we're doing today. I've missed doing makeup so much. I feel like I did have a makeup video to go out um, with my friend, but she could, we couldn't put it out at the end because of her work. Um, like she had a meeting at work and they were like talking about social media stuff, which is annoying. But like I filmed the get ready of us night out and like a bit of a vlog, but life happens. It gets in the way sometimes. But yeah, I'm literally just gonna put the card there and start on the out corner. Mixing them colours together. I just really like this vibe. It's quite simple, but I feel like simple makeup is sometimes the best. But is anyone getting really excited for Halloween? Because I really am. Me and my friends um, are all going to do something on one of the days. Um, I think Halloween's on a Sunday this year. So that's a bit annoying, to be honest. Um... But I'm just really excited. I think I'm going to go as a dead bride. And Owen can go as like. A husband. But I don't know how that's going to work. To be honest. Because I, I kind of want like a ball gown dress. But is that extra? I don't know. But yeah I'm just going to do that on both eyes. And then come right back. Okay so I've literally. Also ignore. Up there. I've just got really bad X on my eyes. <laughs> just don't go away um but yeah i've just sort of done that on both eyes i'm leaving this bit 
um, with nothing on just because I'm going to try and cut crease it. But yeah, I've just done that. That I've just mixed all the colours together to be honest and like hoped for the best. And then like on the outer corner, I do like how dark it's gone, but I might just add like a little bit of black just to smoke it out quite a bit because I feel like it would be a vibe. Like, that's literally it. I, honestly, I'm loving, like, I think this can be quite a lot for, like, every day. But I'm just loving, like, a really smoky eye at the minute. I feel like when I've been doing my makeup with just a bit of bronze, I've not really been liking it as much. Um, which is, like, upsetting me a little bit, to be honest. But I don't know, I just quite like a little bit of smoke. I'm going to bring it out just onto, like, the outer portion of the lid. And then I'll probably put a bit more on after I've done a bit of a cut crease. Just to blend them together. And then, for the cut crease, honestly, I literally need to, um, I literally need to clean my brushes tonight because they're all disgusting, to be honest. Right, why is the dark one and this gone so much farther in? I feel like I need to... No, no. So, I've been using the Ultima Eye Base in Light from Revolution. They've come out with little pigments of these and I'm pretty sure I'm going to order some to test out in a video because if they're like a dupe of the P. Louise bases, I think they're like one of the best things for makeup and they always make eye makeup look so good. So, yeah, I'm going to just quickly cut my crease with that and just like a really flat brush that literally needed to be washed like 20 years ago. But what can you do? Anyone else obsessed with Married at First Sight, like UK, because I'm not being funny, I'd never seen it before, and I was like, right, you know what, I'm going to give it a go, like, I see the adverts and they look really interesting, um, oh, sorry, just moving closer, they just look really interesting, so I started watching it and became obsessed, like, I just watched... I think I had like a whole week to catch up on, so I caught up on all that in literally like two days um, because I just watched it all day long. And now I'm watching the Australian latest season um, because I'm that obsessed with it and I just can't wait like a day. I need something else. But I'm so excited that there's a few seasons of it that I can catch up on because I'm just loving it at the minute absolutely loving it also if you don't want this to be as smoky fat you just can't add the black like don't add the black and just use all the browns and then do like a cut crease and i feel like that is literally fine but i'm just really enjoying the smokiness i feel like my eyes suit a bit of a darker color on the outer corner and i feel like this looks a bit more like night out -y, which to be honest i probably would wear it on a night out but and in the day i've just been loving it in the day who says you can't wear a smoky eye in the day? There are no rules to make up. It all washes off. Okay, so I've just done both eyes. I I look really weird like this. <laughs> but I'm just trying to show you that I take it up quite high, which I feel like is a bit weird. But I like when you're looking at someone, you can really see it. So I just take it quite high. I feel like it's quite a good thing to do, to be honest, if you just want... Um, like your eyes to appear a lot bigger than they are um i need to stop saying them but i'm just gonna set it now and the white in this palette is called first so but yeah so basically if anyone has watched married at first sight um i'm at the episode where like ignis i don't even know if that's her name but i feel like it is and sam me up and Sam's with Elizabeth, and she's with Bro Broston, I think his name. But I love it, honestly. And I'm not gonna lie, I love how much the Australians say bloody, because I feel like that was just like a stereotypical thing, but like they all say it so much, and I just love it. I love their accent. 
I've never been to Australia though, I'd love to go, but the flight really freaks me out. Like, one of my friends went and she went to Dubai for a few days first and I feel like I could probably do it that way. Like, stay over, but I'm really scared of flying. Like, the longest flight I've done is like three hours and that was like a lot for me. So, not good is it really? Anyone else really scared of flying or are you normal? I feel like that one's gone a bit higher than I'd like, but I'm going to blend the colours out. Again, I think, because it just it looks a bit weird right now. But, yeah, let's keep going. So, I need to put the lid on that, actually. What was that? I'm quite scared now. Oh, I've made this brush have a bit too much black on it, I think, from what I just did. But we'll just smoke out the outer corner first, I guess. Let's just bring it on. I don't want it to be like a really dramatic cut crease. I really like it to be dramatic at the front, but then at the side, I just like to blend. Put a bit more brown into that. I want it to feel like warm, warm browns. Do you know what's so weird? I used to always watch like um, Manny, Jacqueline Hill and all them. And all they would do is like a orangey, warm, smoky eye. And that is literally all I would do back in the day. And I was like, just thinking, I was like, I don't think I've ever done that on my channel. But now it's autumn. I expect that to be the next one. But like, I feel like my eyes just look so much more open and I really like how it goes really light to really dark. I feel like that's my new thing. I'm just gonna blend the top of that just so it's not, I'm not gonna blend it too much, just at the edges. I feel like it makes it stand out a bit more as well. Just like that. Okay, my skin feels like tacky from that spray that we used. Um, normally, I would just use the Huda Beauty, but I'm going to mix it today just because um, I've not fake tanned. I need, really need to get this in a lighter shade, to be honest. Um, but I'm just going to mix it with this Revolution like Pro because it's lighter. But I don't really like the formula of this, I'm not going to lie. I feel like it doesn't make my foundation look as nice if I was just using this. So... But I'm just using it because I have nothing else right now. Which is annoying, but it's just the way the cookie has crumbled. Whew. But honestly, I feel like I've been really lacking on the YouTube front at the minute. So I'm trying to really get back into it because I have video ideas. And I'm really enjoying like um, planning what to do. And then when it comes to actually filming, I'm just getting really lazy. Like... And it's really annoying me because I love doing this. Like, I've just had my year anniversary on YouTube as well. Can you even have a year anniversary? I'm making it a thing. Um, but yeah, like, I've dedicated today to have a really, like, good filming day and get back on it. But will it happen? We'll see. But at least I've got this video out. Because I used to have, like, two weeks worth of videos to go out and then... I'd film so much more that I'd get too excited and just keep posting all the new ones. <laughs> like, and I miss that. I think it's just because the room's just finished and I've just done all my, like, room content. And then now I actually can do all the videos I wanted to do, like, makeup and stuff like that. Now I have a better background, more background areas. And then for some reason, my brain's just like, no. Um, but obviously a lot is going on behind the scenes as well. It's just other things. I've just been a bit stressed at the minute, which I'll probably go into in more other videos. Um, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles, isn't it? I'm just going to blend. I'm going to have to blend a bit on the neck as well, which is a bit annoying. 
so i hate how light this bit looks compared to my neck like it's just the tan really sticks to my neck <laughs> but and i feel like the shadow of my face doesn't make it any better but here we are i really need to clean on my brushes as well i really need to clean my sponges as well so like just don't judge all right it's cleaning day maybe but i'm going to use now the la girl pro conceal in fairest i don't know why i bought this in fairest i feel like maybe two shades up from that might be a bit better but we're here now aren't we oh this is running low but i've been enjoying this for like everyday makeup when i'm going out i probably would have put like another layer of foundation on um like out out like clubbing um another layer of foundation and used my Too faced concealer um but when i'm not really like clubbing or anything like that i just do one layer and this and this is my everyday concealer concealer is literally five pounds but i don't know if you can tell like look how much that just goes i always end up putting a tiny bit there just because I feel like it just gives you the illusion of a cheekbone as well. Like, compared to, I mean, to be fair, I don't, I like that I've got like a bit of something there. But I mean, if I last bit my weight, it'd probably get better. There we go. Then I used my other Real Techniques one. I love the powder sponge. I used to just use this. But I feel like this one is so much better um, for doing your powder with. Um, oh no. That we're getting ahead of ourselves i have been loving cream contour and i really like putting this just on my eyes as well which i'm gonna do in another video for like quick makeup um but i've been loving this i feel like it's so nice and it just blends really well this it, i've got the foundation stick from primark to try out as soon as um, this one's run, run out um but this is the revolution one i just love it like i feel like it just blends like a dream blends out really easily it gives you a bit of color like i love bronzer especially i feel like because it's still september you can get away with lathering on the bronzer like in summer i lather on the bronzer can i even speak properly <laughs> i lather on the bronzer and i just want to be really bronzed and then i feel like when it gets to winter and the colder months I'm all about loads of blusher, so it looks like you just walked outside in the cold. But, yeah. Anyway, speaking of winter coming up, right. My fitness journey didn't exist in summer. I feel like in winter, you're always preparing for summer. And then it comes to summer and you don't do anything. Like I was so good at calorie counting. I'd lost, like, £10. I was doing really well, like... And that wasn't even with exercise. Like, I hardly left the house unless it was a day Instagram pictures, um, which is the sad truth. And then it got to, like, when you could see people again. And I feel like it just, it, it just went. It just went. And every time I tried to get back onto it, I'd go out with friends because you just want to go out and do loads of stuff. And I'd finally got a job, so I actually had money to enjoy myself. So, I mean... <sighs> It just went like that, basically. So, I'm joining the gym today. It's quite scary. That is a scary thought. I am joining the gym. So, hopefully a fitness journey is coming. I managed to keep off, like, a bit of the weight. But that £10 is creeping back up. And I can't let that happen. I've always said by my 24th birthday... Like, I want to at least have lost, like, more weight. I want to feel good about myself. So, I mean, I feel like I, not just for my birthday, which is in, like, three months, two months, three months. But <coughs> for just general life, I want to be healthier. So, I'm now going to take my Revolution banana powder, which is literally, like, four or five pounds. It's so good just to sell that in place. But yeah, I just want to be on my fitness journey now, getting better. I need to start eating better as well. I want more protein. I mean, I now have protein powder that I'm going to start using. We had protein pancakes yesterday and I really enjoyed them, to be honest. So I need to keep that up.
Okay, so after that, I always bronze. I always do my eyebrows after that kind of makeup, like blush and everything like that. What? Hello. You okay? Where's Selena? Yeah. Oh dear. Are the hedgehogs there? Okay. So, I'm so obsessed with this bronzer. Like, look at the state of it. I can't stop using it. I feel like as soon as this is over with, I'm getting a new one. Why can't I open it now? Literally battered. It's the O2 Mega Bronzer from Revolution. I've just never had anything this good. It reminds me of my MAC powder one that I used to use all the time. I feel like I need to repurchase that, you know. Um, And then, I've really been like... I always change up my highlight and blush. I'm going to be honest, like, every day. But I really like these little ones. So, this one, I think, is the highlighter. And I just love Revolution so much. And this is the blush. I love a shimmery, shimmery blush at the minute. Um, so, yeah. They're my two go-tos today. But it does always change. I've really been loving the NARS Deep Throat. I hate, I hate the names. <laughs> um i remember when i was younger like you know like when you're 16 and you're like asking like can i have nars deep throat please like that's just weird um anyway i always go in bronzer blush then highlight um and then maybe like a powder brush to like you know but i do like to spray as soon as i've done all that because i feel like it gives your eyebrows a good like tackiness to start doing them with and makes them all sane together so let's bronze first I've been proper obsessed with hedgehogs at the minute. Like, I keep going off on tangents in this. It's not just about the makeup, is it really? But I just feel like I needed to try to get ready with me, you know, favourite products at the minute, favourite makeup at the minute. But I've had... We had a hedgehog live in the garden called Herbert, right? And he was huge. She. It, it actually was a girl, but I don't know why. We still, we still call it her Herbert. It just happens that way. And then he had... She had loads of children, five, so we've been looking after them. But two days ago, they left. Um, my mum thinks it's because I'm harassing them too much, which probably I am, but... But, yeah, they're still in the garden because three of them came last night and ate the food I put out for them. Um, I've just been giving them dog food because apparently that's fine. Like, we don't have a dog, um, but me and my dad have bought a bit for them. So they seem to be enjoying that, but I hope they can eat it. No shops sell hedgehog food, but then when I went online, it, it came up with it. So I've looked in like huge supermarkets and stuff and they just don't have any, which is sad. I looked in B&M as well. I don't know why I thought B&M would have it because they just always do, but they didn't. But I'm obsessed with them. One of them is such like a confident one. He doesn't care. Like I'll flash the torch, like see where he is. I'll put like food and be really close to him he doesn't care i've called him philip this looks like a philip you know bit of a weird name but whatever springs to your head is philip i feel like i love blush at the minute i'm going to town on it a bit to be honest i love putting it at the end of my nose i feel like that cute then the highlighter I don't know what they're called. I think this is called Strong, um, the blush, and then the highlighter is called Spirited. Maybe they'll feel powerful. I love that, though. I feel like it makes your nose look skinnier, which I feel like my nose does need a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Also, I don't put on as much highlight as I used to. I used to really lather it on on the cheeks, and now I feel like I just want, like, a little bit of a glow which isn't like me. Sometimes I want to go on a night out. I'm just like, yeah, keep going. Then the spray. I have been loving this. It reminds me of the MAC Fix Plus ones. It's Primark PS Harmony Hydrating Priming Spray, but it just makes everything go in together so well. And I feel like I, it's literally down to here and I've hardly been using it. I only started using it last month. So I'm obsessed. I quickly did my eyebrows because literally I have no technique. I just put a line underneath, put it up, and then use my collection colour lash, which is literally 199. 
and just put what is in my eyelash. <laughs> and then it just put all the hairs up a bit. I definitely need a new one of these because they get dirty so quickly. But I just like the fluffy, fluffy, <laughs> fluffy brow look at the minute. Um, and I don't really have too much technique, to be honest, with my brows at the minute. I feel like my brows are just getting out of hand, but partly because I can't be bothered to pluck them. So, my fault oops then i am gonna use my eyeliner which is the collection fast stroke i always use this and the lashes i've been using at the minute are these they're um it says party girl it's not they're called bossy by pan lashes this is their old packaging and it, i don't know why i have it but i feel like because all the loose ones i keep losing the packaging so i just they all get lost <laughs> But I've been using these, so I'll quickly do these now. Okay, before I do that, I'm just going to take whatever was left on the brush and bring it underneath. Which will hopefully just pull the look together. I can't believe I nearly forgot to do that. I always do that before my eyeliner because I feel like I don't want to smudge my eyeliner after I've done it because it's just a mess. So, yeah, I feel like because there is black on this brush, it was really easy to do that with. Um, so, yeah. The eyes will be done in three, two, one. What do you all think of my eyes? I really like them. I feel like they are quite full on, but they're literally the main focus, like, when someone looks at you, and I just really like them. The lashes as well were only 99p, which I feel like, I quite like that you can still see and they're just smoky. It's just everything I'm really liking at the minute. But my lipstick at the minute hasn't really changed. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I keep putting them in my bag and I keep having to take them out like after a night out because I don't know where they all go. Um, oh, God. So, lipstick is Velvet Teddy by MAC, which I've really been liking at the minute. Why is there a hair on me? <laughs> I feel like it's just a bit darker uh, than Myth, which I love as well, but I feel like for every day, um, I feel like this one's just easier. I don't have to look at and focus at it more. I just like the colour and then I overline my lips with MAC Stone which is really like browny grey. I feel like not a lot of people would like it and I always do it after because when I do it and then put the lipstick on it just takes the colour away um, which is annoying. Then I will spray my face with this Primark spray one last time. And the makeup is complete. I just really like it. I feel like it's not too much other than the eyes. I feel like the eyes are quite bold. But I don't know. I really like how it makes my eyes look in pictures and stuff. I feel like it just looks really big. So, yeah. This is why I wore it to my graduation. Because I feel like with the big cap on my head, I feel like I just didn't suit it. So, I'm glad that my eyes were, like, drawn too. Um, but, yeah. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry the makeup content has been lacking, but I'm definitely going to start doing it more now that my room doesn't look like crap. <laughs> and the plastering's done, everything like that. I feel like I remember when all the walls need to be plastered. <laughs> what a nightmare. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please comment down below any makeup videos you want to see. And I will see you soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.